So, Element 14 right now is hosting their electronic toys challenge. So, I've decided that I'm going to make a Spider-Man suit. It's going to have a CO2 web slinger that will allow me to hold about up to 500 pounds. Of course, myself slinging on it included. And the suit, we are going to design the AI Karen from Spider-Man Homecoming. It's probably going to be a pretty big project, but I think it'll be good turnout for Element 14. Let's get to it. All right, let's make this suit. So we already have this pocket sewn into the back of the hoodie right here. It's gonna hold the Sense hat to the Raspberry Pi. And above it is another slot that holds the ultrasonic sensors. But right now, in order for it to all come together and work, we have to cut a hole in the back so the wires can run through to the belt, which powers it. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and cut the vinyl off for the shirt on the suit. This right here is our Spidey Sense circuit. It's pretty important because without the voltage divider and the transistor on it, the Pi would have fried, which is, you know, not very good for the suit. Now let's check for any shorts. It's always good to look at it under the scope. And last, we'll put a coating on it to protect it. In order to write the AI for Karen, we use Microsoft Azure's image diagnosis software. And I'm telling you, it is amazing how short the code really is to actually be able to diagnose and tell images what it sees in an image back in an earpiece in my ear under the mask. It's really impressive. Another part of the Spidey Sense AI is this vibration sensor right here, which will be stuck to the back of my neck in the mask, like right in the center. And that is tripped by that ultrasonic sensor that you saw in the suit. So, about. I'd say about nine years ago I had this old Spider-Man fishing rod, which is pretty funny considering the project we're taking. And coincidentally, the design of a retractor of any real fishing rod has the design that we're going to be using to pull in the hook on our web slinger. So right here we've got probably the third test of the mobile web slinger port. We've got the plastic hook on it with no weight attached, so it's going to be lotting pretty far. There's no rope plugged in right now, we're just trying to figure out how far it can shoot. So, in the final days of the project, we've made a lot of adjustments that should have been done a long time ago, but we ended up getting around to them just now. And that means that we still need to attach the motor mount, the spool needs attaching, but the cap that we put over it, like in all fishing rods, like we talked about before, actually needs to be elongated a little bit for the string to be able to pull off better. Both of these need attached right here. And of course, after that, the string needs somewhere to be guided by. So it needs an eyelet right here to really move the trajectory along better. And the, the only way we can make it spin is by making a coupling in between the motor and the spool. 
And in order to do that, we need this little part right here, which is a rubber buffer, I would say. They use it in a lot of industrial couplings and it reduces a lot of strain on the turning motion of it and prevents the pieces from fracturing entirely. It's a pretty important part and we really need to design it well to fit like precisely with these two in order for it to actually retract. Now we're about to take that coupling for a test. And here it is, the finished suit with the self-retracting web slinger and the Raspberry Pi AI embedded. You can get all the schematics, code, and 3D printed parts on my blog on Element 14. If you want to see more cool projects like this, please like and subscribe on this video. It's a wrap.